to all those who use redstone in survival Minecraft, I have a gift for you. Something so powerful and so suggested, I'm surprised it has not been done yet. Redstone plus flint gives you two of these sparkers. Now let's get the trivial nonsense out of the way first. Powers creepers and it can also deactivate TNT. Excellent, so now we can defuse bombs. But it has a much, much more powerful use. Upon placing, it will create a one tick pulse. Now this can be used to start up your clocks or some more special things to occur. For example, if I place this inside a dispenser, just one right in the center on its own, we have a dispenser that fires out a one tick pulse and it refills itself every time it gets used so you never have to worry about it running out. Now, what if we already have a sparker? We have a clock now. Isn't that excellent? So now we can have a monostable circuit or a clock, which you can deactivate very easily. Here are the current clocks in Minecraft and current monostable circuits. Not very appealing. These ones, far friendlier. You can even combine these. So let's chop that in and that creates one tick all right, so let's reduce this and it starts sparking and then you can toggle it to turn it off. Well, you get what I mean. And did I also mention that this thing is also a block breaker? That's right, it breaks blocks as well. Finally, somebody has created an automatic cobblestone generator. So let's get this thing running. And you can see, it will now start filling up with cobblestone. There we go. Infinite cobblestone, just like that. I am not sure what happens there, but I don't like it. In addition to this, I'd like to present to you the most complex rhythm machine I've ever invented. Very unpredictable rhythms, which can easily be changed. Can be used especially for randomizers as well. And it also happens to be a T flip-flop when pressed at the right time, which apparently I cannot do. It's your one stop for monostable circuits and clocks. It's explanation time crafting. I've covered a video about this, link in the description. And how does it refill the dispensers? Well, it's just doing a quick replace item command relative to the sparker. So it's just replacing a block next to it. Slot container four with a spawn egg. Unfortunately, this does work with chests because the detect command actually doesn't work properly because the dispenser like changes or something when it gets powered. So um, there it is, the sparker enters your chest and you have a, a sparker teleportation system. Now it just goes straight into storage. Uh, you can actually duplicate it as well though, but that's not a big concern for me because they just get used so quickly. But anyway, just block data commands happening in many, many directions. Now, how is it being a block breaker? Well, this is actually me killing two birds, birds with one stone, but it's just placing redstone blocks down and destroying whatever block was originally there. And then it will quickly fill that area with air, hence the one tick and hence the block breaking. Now this here, with the TNT, is just setting the TNT relative to the TNT and then killing the primed TNT in its spot. And here, it's just changing the entity data of a creeper within radius of 3 to powered 1 and then it just kills the sparker immediately. Well, it actually just teleports it down. And we have a nice little particle effect to go with it somewhere, wherever that is. But anyway, that's all I have for now. Suggestions please, thanks very much for watching, have a great day.